Hello everyone. Today's gonna to be a really quick intro. I'm not driving, obviously. I'm actually parked at a driving range in Chicago. It's called Diversity. I think it's, it's like in the heart of downtown, so I think a lot of people know it. Um, I'm here in Chicago to celebrate a friend's birthday, and we're meeting later at night. But you know, I had some time left over, so I'm driving range. It is. Um, it's a bit like rainy, a little bit, but this I bought him this present tp5 so we'll give it we'll give that to him later he, he plays golf too so um just wanted to share that because i feel like you know gifting someone tp5s or probably ones or was it chrome softs means a lot man it means, means you care about them we're gonna head over to the range um i don't know if i can be talking uh, it looks like a lot of people are there but um we'll see how that goes so i'll see you guys at the range All right, so I'm at the range. Um, there are other people around here, so I don't want to talk that loud. Um, that was the first one with wedges. Okay, so um, a few things I noticed with my warmer wedges is um, it's just I think it's something to do with mats. Something I developed uh, over the winter season is I tend to like pick at the ball because uh, mats are forgiving in that sense. I tend to kind of like pick at it like that, or like make sure if if this was the flat ground, I would go. My angle of attack is just way too high when I want to basically hit down on the ball. So, um, yeah, trying to work on that right now. Uh, I think the biggest feeling is if I just think about going into the ground, my head going into the ground. And we're back to that left miss. So just like pulling it to the left, I have that problem. Sometimes it almost feels like I'm like scared to hit the ground. Okay, so some major discoveries here. Number one, when I take my backswing, I tend to take it back a bit which means which means I have to if I take it back like like this then I have to make all this correction up here and then come down but then if I just take it back like making sure that I don't get out like my hands don't go outside the swing plane then it, it's an easier path downwards so that's one thing and also you know Rory always says to get that left knee out of the way I've been doing that and it kind of helps that, that's like a minor discovery but this backswing feel is kind of huge also something cool happened at the range earlier I met a gentleman named Colin and he, he had leftover balls and he offered me some but Someone else took it, but <laughs> anyways, um, uh, he just complimented my swing, and uh, and I was sitting, I was seeing him hit a few, and he has speed, so I have speed. I think if you find a way to score the club face with that speed, you'll probably shoot very low. Yeah, uh, nice meeting you, Colin. If you're ever watching this, um, thanks for saying hi. Okay, so back to golf. 
Hey everyone, so I'm back in the car. I spent actually a lot of time after that. I finished the, uh, like I film horizontally for YouTube and then I film vertically for my TikTok and Instagram. And then I spent the rest of the time filming vertically after that last clip. But um, yeah, it's like 5 p.m. I, I stayed until sun sunset. So yeah, there, a lot happened after, but um, this video will um, end here. Um, that was uh, another good range session, uh, learned a lot. Uh, that backswing feeling was very good. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be a short one. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Just making sure that, you know, you squeeze that orange is very important. I'm talking to future Jay, if that can make sense. If you're editing, make sure that orange is very important. <laughs> um, yeah, other than that, thank you so much again for watching and I always appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.